slides. Do you have speaker notes? Yeah, speaker notes. Okay. All right. Here's Andrew Botella. Uh, hi. Uh, I will be talking briefly about uh, some updates uh, from the uh, last year living talk on uh, online clamp. Uh, WebKit line clamp is a property that lets you clamp the, the uh, number of lines of an element, except uh, what it does is actually uh, it overflows those lines. It, uh, uh, you need overflow hidden to not have them render. Uh, if we're going to replace the, uh, this, we want a replacement to also have height based clamping where it co uh, computes the number of lines automatically based on the height. Uh, there are a couple of CSS WG proposals about this. Uh, uh, what, uh, like line clamp uh, without the prefix would be a shorthand property. Then, uh, would support, uh, support height clamping, no, and no lines will be shown at the clamp point. And there are two copy proposals. Continue collapse lays out the clamp lines without painting them. Continue discard does not lay them out with fragmentation. Uh, both proposals need to be specified in detail and prototype before deciding on one. And we actually have working prototypes in Blink for both of them with uh, CLs. Uh, uh, for continuous collapse, our implementation builds on the existing WebKit line clamp machine reader, especially for the height, and any line fragments and block children uh, after the clamp point are laid out and they overflow, but they're hidden from pain. There are some open issues about uh, apps float and float. Uh, the, uh, since they, uh, the clamp lines overflow, they still take scroll space, so, which is not great. Uh, continuous discard is completely different. It's based on fragmentation, same same as for pagination for multi-column, and only the first fragment is laid out and, and rendered using something that we're calling discarding fragmentation. Uh, layout ng uh, pauses the the layout at the end of a fragment and then resumes the, at the start of the next. Uh, discarding fragmentation would not resume it. Some layer boxes would be not laid out at all. Some would be half discarded. Uh, Blink Layout Engine has many assertions to make sure that the layout boxes are laid out and painted when they actually should. And discarding fragmentation hits those assertions because the last uh, fragment uh, can resume. Like there, there's content to resume after the, the last fragment. We're uh, clearing the net, the needs layer and paint flags for all of the half and full discarded boxes. This is problematic. We're only clearing them if the box is fully discarded or after laying out and painting the last non discarded fragment. Since discarded content does not produce NG physical fragments, there's nothing to use after free. So we think this is safe, but it's not clear that this is the best solution. There are also issues where fragmentation might not be the best idea here. Uh, fragmentation avoids breaking up to the first line of before the last line, so the last two lines clamp together. Uh, so before we can settle on either proposal, we need some further spec work and work compass assessment. So maybe we should try to intend to prototype both and see what happens. Thank you. In one moment while I get the next slides together. 